Okay, so let's go to knowledge bases because we want to create a knowledge base. That's the extra information which will be ultimately stored in vector database as you can see in the above diagram. So I'm in Amazon Bedrock and I'll click on knowledge base. So these are the four steps. First and foremost, what I'm going to do is I'll be uploading the external or the extra data source, right? Which is nothing but for me, it's PDF document. So I'll upload that document. So whenever user sends a query, then my foundation model, before it responds to query, my foundation model wants to check in this document, right? Which I'm uploading now. And then whether it finds some more information before the foundation model can process. So that's why I'll be uploading this document into this knowledge base. So foundation model, before it sends response, it would like to do lookup, you know, Okay, before I respond to you, user, hey, let me check if I have something for you in the knowledge base, then it will respond. So let's play around the first step. So we are not creating knowledge base now. So for now, we are just uploading the extra document, extra data source for foundation model to work. So I'm just clicking on chat with the document. So we'll just play around with document. So that you know whether we can test the document or not. So we will just give some prompt and then AWS Badrock, right? I mean, it's going to search in that document whether the information is found in the document or not. Uh, that's what it says, right? Chat with your document. So I'm for this, first step is I need to select the model. So I'll select Cloud A3 Sonnet. So I go to here. And I don't want to modify any inference parameters. This is chat prompt template. So here, if you see, uh, basically, if I click on edit, it's like this paragraph, right? If you read it, it's like you are talking to AWS knowledge base, right? So you are talking to them, hey, knowledge base, uh, I'm just providing you this extra information, which is nothing but search result. So whatever document I upload, they, those are search result or extra information from you. So if user asks you some query, just look into this document search result. And if you find something from this search result, which I'm uploading now, then you should answer only from those document. You should not look anywhere else. If you do not find any information, just simply tell user, hey, I cannot find your requested information. So this is, looks good. You do not need to modify this prompt. So now the time comes to upload the actual more data, right? To which you want to search. So I'm just uploading from my computer. Otherwise you can also give the S3 path. If you have loaded already the document into S3. So I'll just go to my computer. I'll upload. So I'm going to play around with migraine. So what I'll do is I just downloaded the white paper from online. I'll just give the link below this article so you can download so that you can do the same steps. So I'll just simply uploaded this extra information document, which is around migraine. And now let's test. So it simply says chat with your document. So what I'm going to do is what is migraine? Now I know that, you know, this information is already there in the document, which I uploaded now. So I'm simply asking what is migraine? Let's see whether it's able to find that information in the document and then is it able to give the reference or not? So I just click run. Now, as you can see, it's retrieving and trying to generate the response. Now it's going to look into this document and it will find some information if it's able, right? If it's able to find from the migraine. So you see migraine is a disorder most clearly manifested by headache. There are two major forms of migraine distinguished based on headache frequency. No, I don't want to read that. But then here, if you see, right, if I click on here, this guy one, it says this information is found from this relevant link. So if I click, you see, so this is nothing but paragraph from the extra document or extra data source or relevant data source, which I uploaded here. And if I, click show source details. So it's nothing but this is a chunk from the PDF which I uploaded. So this is how 
you can test once you upload the document and you know you it will search in that extra document and it will find that information from that so i hope this gives you the very first step that before you create a knowledge base first you upload the document which will act as your knowledge base and which is what foundation model is going to query so you just upload the document and you just test it you know whether everything works everything looks good or not so that's about it in this step